You're watching TVC News at 7. The federal government has opened negotiations with resident doctors. The meeting was held to stop the doctors from going ahead with their planned nationwide strike next month. At the end of the meeting, Labor and Employment Minister Chris Ngege said government has so far paid 15.8 billion naira to cover hazard and inducement allowances in the federal teaching hospitals, federal medical centers and non-COVID hospitals. The Federal Ministry of Health and the Office of the Accountant General of the Federation are to resolve the 20% top-up and report back next Tuesday. The meeting, which lasted about five hours, is to continue next Thursday. Chris Ngege also charged the medical personnel to stop taking their grievances to the National Assembly, but to first explore all talks with the Health and Labor Ministry. We have the developments of uh, people not originally captured, like uh, house officers and interns in all the medical professions, uh, NYAC doctors, and uh, some volunteers. So we are going to, as a government side, have a further discussion. Now let's get more on that meeting from the PRO uh, National Association of Resident Doctors, Stanley Egogo. Well, the impression given at that meeting is that doctors did not explore all the avenues before going to the National Assembly. How do you react to that? Hello? Dr. Egogo. How do you react to the impression that um, all avenues were not explored before taking uh, the doctor's grievances to the National Assembly? In, and thank you for having me. Uh, as regards that uh, statement by the Honorable Minister of uh, Labor and Employment, uh, we, just to tell Nigerians that uh, whenever we had issues, we always go to the Ministry of Health to go and report our matters. But we find out that most of the complaints relate to them or the challenges that we face, they tend not to listen to us or respond as we want. And that was what has led us in so many cases to approach the National Assembly for a quicker response. Today's meeting enough to deter a resumption of your strike. Can you come again? I'm talking about the decisions reached at today's meeting. Uh, were they enough to deter the resident doctors from resuming their strike? Uh, I, I would just say that uh, the meeting just commenced. Uh, the problems or the challenges that is facing the association we are, was led to bear today. And then the Honorable Minister of Health and, sorry, Honorable Minister of State for Health and the Honorable Minister of Labor and Employment uh, showed commitment to resolving some of the issues. All the agencies that were involved we are uh, invited for the meeting and then we had a discussion. But we have not concluded our discussion as regards uh, the, uh, the conclusions. For instance, the issue of June uh, COVID inducement allowance that has not been paid to our members was brought up and the minister promised that uh, that money will be looked into and it will get across to us. Also, the issue of the CMD of University of Portacol Teaching Hospital, Professor A. A. Obama, was brought up and uh, we had some discussions and the, the minister uh, suggested that a committee should be set up to discuss, look into the matter tomorrow. And all this will be guided by a timeline that was given till Tuesday next week and then by on the 6th of August we will be meeting again all the stakeholders all the people that we are in this meeting absolutely Piero National Association of Resident Doctors Stanley Egogo thank you for talking to us